Hey everyone, I'm making this video today to talk about Flickr Strike because that really seems to be the meme of the hour on Reddit is all these terminus est Flickr Strike posts and memes that are for some reason constantly getting upvoted to 500 to 1000, doesn't really make sense. Because Terminus Est really isn't that good for Flicker Strike, and neither is Oro's Sacrifice. Um, Endgame, you really don't want to be using either of those two-handed swords because they're just not that good. And there are much better ways to get a lot more damage out of Flicker Strike. Um, I'll just go ahead and showcase here a, um, a version of the build, uh, more or less, uh, as to how it looks. Um, it's a, it's a Flicker Strike build, it, I'll kind of go over all the gear and really what I think is going to be the best version of Flicker Strike, um, come 3.7. Obviously we don't have all the patch notes, so I don't know entirely everything that's going to happen, um, or change with this build, but I'm assuming it's still going to be relatively, um, similar in gear and in gems to, um, this build that I have here that I threw together on standard. Um, this guy here has about 8 million damage, somewhere around there. So, um, it's, it's, it's quite effective, and it, it works pretty darn well at clearing maps. Um, this is a tier 14 Basilo, so it, um, fairly endgame map here. So that's that, arena. Oh, this guy does his phases. Well, this is going to be annoying. So the reason, so, well, I'll start by this. I'll, I'll start by saying this. Um, Oros and Terminus Est are not bad choices um, beginning of the league. However, they're weapons that you definitely want to eventually at some point um, switch out. Because they just, um, there's just much better, um, weapons you can get. I'm not gonna do this boss, whatever, you guys get the point. Um, there's just much better weapons you can use. So basically, I'm gonna pull up the, um, basically the end game version of the build here on Path of Building. And I largely took this from Demi's, um, uh, Demigod King, you guys probably know that if you're on Reddit, you know that everybody like hates him on Reddit, whatever, I think he's fine. Um, but here is his his build here. Um, I've made a minor modifications to pretty much ensure that it's really the best possible and fastest clearing Flicker Strike um, build in the game. Um, as you can see, I pretty much racked it up to 17 million damage. Um, so this is how it looks. I think it's pretty conclusive that if you want the best version of Flicker Strike, you should probably be Inquisitor. Um, the reason why you want to be Inquisitor is because of primarily inevitable judgment. You pretty much ignore all the elemental um, resistances of enemies. Um, also, Sanctuary and Pious Path work with Flicker Strike, so you can always have Consecrated Ground because you always, um, for a split second, you always stand still. Um, before you teleport to the next mob, so while it looks like you're always moving, you actually are standing still for a very short fraction of a second, and in that fraction of a second, you stand on consecrated ground, and then it lingers, so you always have consecrated ground, even while you're flickering. So that gives you all the benefits of Sanctuary and Pious Path, and obviously you want Inevitable Judgment, and... What's going to be expensive with this build, I can anticipate, is probably going to be the Red Trail, and most likely also a um, a Hatred Conversion Watcher's Eye. Um, these are probably going to be the two expensive things at the start of the league, because again, everyone is hyping up Flicker Strike, um, and so I anticipate these will be the two expensive items. But basically, you don't want to use Oros or, or um, Terminus S to, um, for your Frenzy Charges. You really want to use Red Trail and a um, Golden Rule. Um, after you use a Red Trail and Golden Rule, what you have to do is convert all the physical damage, or nearly all the physical damage to elemental damage. Um, 
I on this guy and on this character that you see here, I have 99% conversion and that is really what you want to get because you have to still have 1% um, of your damage as physical damage because you need physical damage to inflict bleed, otherwise you will not get the frenzy charges on coming from the red trail um, because you gain a frenzy charge on hit um, while bleeding and the golden rule reflects any bleed you inf inflict to yourself. So that's how the Frenzy Charge generation works. Um, the reason why this is much more effective than Terminus Est or Oros is because now we don't need to run Terminus Est or Oros. Now we can use fucking crazy dual-wielding um, claws or foils, and that's going to be a lot more damage. Um, personally, I think foils are the way to go because you get these three notes here, which give you, uh, I believe it's 25% chance to cause bleeding. That saves us from have, having to craft a bleed mod on a claw, and that also allows us to throw in another different mod instead on the weapon, so that opens up a mod on the weapon. So that's quite nice. The other issue I personally have with claws is you have to go all the way up here to get to the claw wheel, and eh, I don't really know if I like that. Um, and there's just a lot of nice um, sword nodes around here, so you get these ones here, you get this nice sword cluster here, you probably generally don't want to take this, this shit's kind of crappy. Um, and it's, I just think, I just personally think foils are the way to go, but you can also go claw. There's another way you can also use um, Red Trail and um, Golden Rule if you don't want to um, convert all your Fizz damage. I think there's also um, the Apeps uh, Supremacy. Um, yeah, you take Chaos damage instead of Physical damage from Bleeding. And then I believe what you want to do is with this, you just go CI. So you don't take any chaos damage from, uh, well, you don't take any damage from inflicting bleed because it's converted to chaos damage, and if you're CI, you don't take chaos damage. So that's the other way you can do it. However, I don't really recommend doing this because then you have to go um, CI, you have to get energy shield stuff, and you're on this side of the tree, and um, you generally want to go assassin, and I think... It's just better to go for Inevitable Judgment and Inquisitor, because I think it's just a higher damage ceiling. And also, you don't need to use a shield, you can do a wheel two weapons. So, um, definitely this is the higher um, DPS version of Flicker. So basically, you want two foils, um, highest damage possible, and you also want hits can't be evaded, so you don't have to worry about stupid accuracy, and you also don't need to wear that stupid shield with the spider on it, because fuck that. Um, so you want two foils with hits can't be evaded, highest damage possible. These are obviously like mirror tier, um, but you can use foils like this are also fine. Um, something like a crafted one like this, this can you can even still craft. And I believe this foil is, uh, let me check here. Hold on, let me pull up the other POB of this, this character. That foil right there is still 412 PDPS, so it's absolutely fine. Uh, and, um, this one here is actually right about the same, but this one has the legacy quality, so it doesn't, I mean, you can still get pretty high foils either way. So, you want two foils. Um, Abyssus, this is kind of the really YOLO version of Flicker Strike. If you want the most damage possible, you definitely want to go for Abyssus, um, because it's just more fizz damage to attacks, a heap of melee crit, and obviously you want to try to get that Flicker enchant. Um, for the body, you generally want, um, just to make sure that it has the, um, you want it to be an Elder Chest with the attacks have, um, a plus base crit mod. Um, that's really probably the one of the most important things. The Socket of Gems supported by Mame is also quite nice. Other than that, you just want life on it. Um, gloves don't really matter, it could be whatever. Obviously, you want Red Trail, that's how you get your, um, Frenzy Charge. You just want Crazy Rings with a bunch of Fizz Damage. Um, generally, if you want to go as crazy as possible, you definitely want to get a headhunter, so that's obviously that option there as well, and pretty much all the damage flasks, taste of hate, diamond flask, since we're crit, sins rebirth, lines, roars, zero's promise, pretty general stuff you want to do if you're going fizz, um, Ellie conversion, 
And then you obviously want the in most insane jewels possible. So something like this. You obviously need golden rule. I don't know why I have two of them here. I shouldn't have two of them, actually. Whoops. Um, and uh, Watcher's Eye, you want with 29% Fizz Damage Conversion to Cold. So this we have 29% here. You get 20% um, from this weapon cold damage. That put us, put, puts us at 49. And the other 50 is just going to come from Physical to Lightning. So you pretty much deal half of your damage is going to be Lightning. Half your damage is going to be Cold. 1% of your damage is going to be Physical. Depending on what happens with this patch, if they, depending on how the new melee splash will work um, with Flicker Strike, because they are now pretty much, if you guys aren't aware, with 3.7, um, a lot of melee skills are going to have melee splash essentially built into it. Um, I, I don't exactly know how it's going to interact with Flicker Strike, but if you don't need if we won't need melee splash, generally the safest thing will probably be to replace melee splash with elemental focus, um, and that's just going to get even more um, insane amounts of damage. So yeah, um, just a valid special war chief setup here. Leap slam. You want to make sure you're using um, bloodlust with leap slam because if you don't use bloodlust, you're gonna you're not um, converting 50% of your damage because you don't have physical to lightning. Um, so basically, if you leap slam into something, you're going to kill yourself with the bleed. So you have to make sure to use bloodlust because supported attacks cannot cause bleeding. So you need bloodlust, fortify faster attacks, typical stuff there. Summon lightning golem, summon ice golem with um, cast and damage shake and mortal call. Blood rage enhance. Uh, you don't need to use the portal enhance, whatever. Hatred, herald device, assassin's mark, curse on hit. Obviously, for power charge generation, we definitely need that since we're crit. And that's basically the build. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is probably going to be the highest end version of damage for Flicker Strike possible in 3.7. There are those new jewels that convert the skill tree to something else. So, obviously, I don't know what that is. Maybe if some of them are good, they can fit into this build. Um, maybe if something like here turns out to be awesome, they can maybe convert Resolute Technique to that one other keystone. I don't know. So there obviously might be some changes come 3.7, but in general, I think this is going to be the highest version, um, the highest damage version of Flicker Strike um, absolutely possible um, in 3.7. So uh, fuck Terminus S, fuck Oros, this is what you want to go. Um, it's not going to be cheap. Probably Red Trails are going to go, and Infinite Pursuit and Red Trails, I can already imagine, are probably going to go for two to three exalts. Um, at the start of the league because everybody's going to want red trail unless people are actually using terminus est and oros which i don't again i don't really recommend um but you definitely want red trail you definitely want the um golden rule those are going to be the two things you definitely want to use and then convert 99 percent of your fizz damage to elemental damage so yep that's going to be the build i am Definitely probably going to be playing in softcore now because if I actually want to survive on this character at all, I can't play hardcore. So, uh, yeah, um, that's um, kind of what I'm looking at for this build. Come three for flip for my 3.7 build is going to be to try this um, flicker strike out and see um, how it'll interact with these model lists and stuff. Hopefully, they make they switch these model lists to make the, um, the monsters um, spawn instantly. Because we just want all the mobs and we just want to kill everything. We don't want to fucking pick and choose. Nobody wants to do any of that bullshit. We just want to fucking kill everything. And every I think everybody knows that. And I think GGG knows that. And I hope that we just, could just kill everything straight at once. So, yeah. Um, anyways, thanks guys for watching. And I'll um, probably make a video again when 3.7 starts to um, sort of update maybe any new news about or maybe before well maybe when the patch notes come out so guys um see you next time